Good morning. We are in St. Martin, Martin today. Um, I feel like we haven't been to St. Martin in a lit. Uh, we went to the last time we were oh, here. Oh, that's yeah. true. But I think we're gonna try to go snag a little beach day. You know us. We go to a beachy <laughs> port. We're gonna try to have a beach day. I mean, why else do you travel? Really? I guess that's true. We've done island <laughs> We've tours. Done a lot of We've stuff done. Here. We have. So beachy day. Mm -hmm. One area that we haven't touched. I was doing the googling yesterday, as to because you know we put stuff together last minute, <laughs> as to where the best beaches are to snorkel. And one of the ones that popped up was Little Great Bay. I no, a little Great Bay. Little, little yeah, Little Bay, I guess. Because the Great Bay, I believe they call it, that's like the nice big free mm -hmm. one that has all the shopping at it. Yep. There's the water taxi. But next door to that, there's another one. Mm -hmm. It's public. It's free to go to. There's a property there called Divi Little Bay Beach. Yeah. Uh, but And they sell day passes. But that really just gets you some chairs and stuff. Mm -hmm. You don't need a day pass to go to their property in theory. So we're going to go over there and try to prove that. And <laughs> they, I, I emailed just to see. And they said, yes, you can come use the beach. Mm -hmm. And their restaurants just and you can't use the pool. Right. Which, so, that's fine. Anyway, let's go have a beach day in St. Martin, but yeah. we're going to start with some breakfast. Yes. So, anyway. I think we'll start our morning in the park. Let's go have breakfast with some birds, shall we? Oh, yeah. I hear them. Wow, I really hear them. <laughs> Your breakfast is a wonderland. So for breakfast, we got parfaits and mueslis, coffees, juices, muffins, stuffings. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> now we've got to hop up to the pool deck and snag some towels. Towel station is open. We have got a P&O ship next to us. I don't see a whole lot of P&O ships in these parts. Well, hello there. Oh yeah, this elevator lobby does not say gangway at the bottom like some other ones do, so hmm. Well, they do have gangway signs here. Okay, dokie. Welcome to St. Martin. Ah, Britannia. I love your encyclopedia. Good stuff. Okay, that's Britannica. I know, I know. Old jokes. So there is Great Bay Beach. We're gonna go one beach over. You can't quite see it from here though. Oh, Morella Discovery, okay. Yeah, let me try not to get in these people's pictures. Hey, a couple of little boats over here too. So we also have Viking Sea and Explorer of the Seas down there. Oh, a lot of ships in port today. Yeah. We're just gonna wander over here to the taxiing area. There we are, right here under the orangish reddish roof. Yeah, they've got all their taxi rate signs kind of spread out all over the place. If you look on various poles, you can find out how much it is to go from one place to another. See, there's Maho specifically. Okay, actually this might be a rate card down here, or a map. A little of both, maybe. There's Orient. Boom. There's where we're going. Little Bay. One or two persons, 12 total, or three or more is five per person. Got it. No, it's very close to here. Well, it is quite the efficient operation. Just find the folks in the orange shirts. All right, our ride is here. We've made it to Divi Little Bay. Oh, there's a sign. Yep, so you don't even have to stop at the front desk. You've got all this beautiful beach action. We can see the ships when we pulled up, which is a funny thing. They're on the other side of all those buildings. You can't see them from here, but look at that. Well, we are ready to ocean mode it up. We're gonna put some sunscreen on, let it soak in a minute. And away we go. Ooh, listen to those waves. Yeah, the sand up by the chairs was kind of hot. You can see this has got like black sand. Really dark volcanic -y type sand I guess. It is soft on the feet though. Man you've got like a pier to snorkel at. I know they've got like sunken submarines and airplanes and stuff out here but I feel like they're really far out. Gotta get out past where it's all churning up. Oh look how clear it is. It's really clear out where you are. I haven't found a rock yet. Oh. Found a wave though. Right, Mermaid D is going to get all suited up. Lovely. Yeah, this sand is glorious. It's amazing. It really is. See, so, yeah, this was on like most people, this was in their top three snorkeling spots on the Dutch side. So that's cool that it's so close to the ships. 
Like if you could see around this corner, like the ships are right over there. Ooh, now I am down and refreshed. Water is nice. It's definitely refreshing, but I mean, I got used to it in an instant. So welcome to the Caribbean in December. And we'll have a St. Martinian spin. I never, yeah, we'll just call it a St. Martin spin. You know, we almost, we almost stayed on the ship today. We were like, huh, it'd be nice to have a day to swim in the ship pools at a popular port where most everybody else is off. Then we were just, you know, cause it's like, who needs another beach day? Well, you get tired of beach days, but we like finding new beaches, not nude beaches, cause you can find those here on the French side, apparently a couple on the Dutch side that, you know, they're new to us that we haven't been to yet. And this is like really convenient. So $12 total for the two of us to get here from the port. It was $5 per chair and five for an umbrella. We just did 10 bucks total for the two chairs. We don't really need the umbrella yet. Poof, nice beach day. No day pass required. See this, see this day back here. <laughs> We're starting the snorkel adventure down here at this little rock wall and pier, maybe. It actually appears that you could go under the pier. <laughs> uh, and there's more rocks and things over there because as far as I know, all of these buildings belong to their property. But I mean, it's like a public beach anyway. So yeah, interesting. Woo, it's hard to find. <laughs> Hi guys. Oh, there's a lot. All right, our field trip to the other side of the pier begins. Oh, there's little crabs crawling on the on the wood too. Not that you can probably see him. He's so tiny and cute. All right, we're not going to disturb you, little crab. We are going to try to scooch a scooch. This this looks pretty sandy. I don't ever wanna feel like I did that day. You know. Look at all this rocky goodness over here. Okie dokie. We found some zone. We've officially found some zone. I did it. Hey guys. I'll do it. This side is very rocky and cavey and craggy, but there are a couple of little sets of steps like down here along the way that you could use to get in and snorkel. Look at that wave um, from this side if you felt like it, but hey, we just disappeared under the pier and we're fine. We have made it all the way down. There's the pier that we swam under to this <laughs> other row of buildings. So we've come a little ways. Yeah. Not bad. You make any friends. There's a variety of rocks on the way and all sorts of tropical life. So very cool. I even saw a little, like we call them ghost crabs where we live. So it looks like a ghost crab uh, just down here on the water. And I filmed it for a little bit. So very cool. Now we can airplane watch. We are on the Dutch side, so Maho is over here somewhere. Not, <laughs> you know, not near this. You would need oh, to catch wow. a cab to go to Maho. Or the airplane beach. <laughs> ah, he's gonna fly into the sun. <laughs> I might go over to these rocks. Yeah, now that we're down here, I say we will end this journey at the rock wall and then figure out where to go after this. So, <laughs> You know how you snorkeled all of Koki? Now you have to snorkel <laughs> all of Little Bay. I will. I have piddle paddled my way over here to the sort of the end of this rock wall area. Look, we can get like the whole property from afar. Now, if memory serves, I believe there's like a little fort somewhere out, or maybe remains of a fort on that little outcropping, but I don't see anything except the 
Oh, look at that little color. What's that? What's that? What's that? Oh, look at the color. It's so cool. Great craggy cliffs. Look at those suckers. They got little cactuses up on them. Oh gosh, I'm coming up on a rock now. Everything so far has been over my head, but all of a sudden I'm like, whoop, obstacle course. And Dee has made it out to this little, it looks like a floating bar type of thing. There's some picnic tables, unless that's somebody's house. It looks like there's a walk-up window where you could get some stuff and I don't know. That's cool though. <laughs> our way back up to shore slowly but sh surely <laughs> he's been collecting trash along the way as we go it's funny we almost signed up for a ship excursion where you actually did a hike i guess it was sort of along a trail to a beach and you picked up trash it was like a 40 dollars excursion through the ship like and then giving I, back. right giving back to the island and then i read that it was a six mile hike and i was like oof we were still going to do it theoretically, but then when we tried to look in the app, uh, they pulled it. I don't think enough people had interest in it, so it appears they can't. that one got canceled. But anyway, we're still collecting trash <laughs> as we go. So we're giving back a tiny bit by swimming. We could do a six mile swim. Yeah, I probably. <laughs> I think it's a swim cap. Oh gosh, every time I see you dive down, I'm like, well, she found <laughs> something else. Either an octopus or a swim cap. No, I think it's a swim cap. Okay, well, it, yeah, it is actually. Well, okay. it doesn't need to live here, so. That's true. We'll also take that back and see <laughs> if it belongs to somebody. Huh. Trash collector D has just gone into float and look mode now. She left her camera up here with me, so. Relax mode, commence. We just had a little passing shower, but the sun is making a reappearance now. Looks like we're getting our weather from that direction, so that looks beautiful. It is still currently dripping on my head just a little bit and probably on your eyeballs there. Whoops. Come up now to see if we can find Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper in the Shalalalos. It's kind of Shalalalo up here. Oh, there's the little rental shack where you can get snorkels and life vests and putter, putter, putter boats and things. He has gone off to search these rocks again. It's a little bay beach. I think we're going to approve. This is probably one of the favorite beaches that we've been to in St. Martin. Because like I said, Great Bay. Well, funny, the ship was selling an excursion to Great Bay Beach, which I guess basically means they will transport you to the free beach that's right there by the ship. Um, I don't remember if it was a bus or a water taxi. I think it was actually like they were selling a water taxi ticket. But it was uh, more than just walking off the ship and getting a water taxi ticket, obviously, from what I remember. So we showed the crazy water taxi system in another video. Uh, it's slightly unpredictable and you never know where you're going to end up. But anyway, it was, it was good. And we've enjoyed Great Bay, but the visibility over here has been a lot better today. So we approve. D approves especially. All the sea life. All right, we are getting ready to call an end to water mode for now. <laughs> Bask in a few more views as we wander back down. We came from this section of the beach down here. Gosh, we've been all over today. We're going to meander back up here toward the lobby. He just said there was a free wine and cheese tasting in like five minutes. <laughs> Well, that's possible. <laughs> Gosh, we can look at all the activities around the resort. I see they've got a sheet up here about their day pass. Yeah, let me see. 
So this was, well, it says 2020, but still. So they had a day pass that was 65. Uh, access to all three pools and Little Bay Beach. Umbrella and Beach Towel, Beach Chairs, a lunch, four drinks. Okay, well, I wonder if this is still good. Floats and boogie boards, beachside service. Hmm. Well, that's cool. Anyway, but it is free to get in here, but they do have some actual day pass packages that have some, you know, upgrades to them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's like your lunch choices. Burgers, salad, pizzas, fish burgers. <laughs> cool. Well, just right out the front desk area, I see a thing that says taxi stand, so that sounds good to me. We have made it back to the port. So we'll follow these little signs that say to ship, and they'll guide us to the ship. Or yeah, just walk toward the big one that says Allure on it. <laughs> See, they've still got that water taxi for $7 round trip. There she is, right next to the encyclopedia. Just flip flop our way down the pier. Welcome home. I like these little escalators in here. That's nice. We figured we would hit up deck five for some quick lunching needs, or so at least some beverages at Promenade Cafe, maybe some food. Salami yeah, sandwiches, egg salad, tuna salad. Is that a raspberry tart? Ooh la la. Oh, I forget they got all your coffee needs right up here too. So we've started with tea and water. Ooh, you've already torn up some of that water. <laughs> uh, they had two different types of salami sandwiches. So you got one of them. I think yours had pickles on it or something like that. And then you ordered a pear and he brought you a pair of pears, which he actually thought was quite funny. He's like, I'll eat them. It's a pear, and it is. I got the other kind of salami sandwich, salami ham and cheese, and I ordered a turkey wrap, but he said they were gonna go make one special because they didn't have one. Uh, and I picked up an egg salad sandwich. And beverages. Good evening. evening. It is dinner time. Yeah. We do that every day we eat dinner. I don't know why. You need to eat to live. Now, I am wearing, well, it's my embarkation day <laughs> shirt, but it's the most colorful shirt I own, and you're awfully colorful tonight, too. Ooh, it's a uh, colorful 70s is the theme. Did we know that before we got on the ship? No clue. No. We're just going with the best we have. They had plaid in the 70s, right? They had palm trees. This could have worked for last night, too. It could have. Tropical. Caribbean. Yeah, or, yeah <laughs> or whatever Caribbean. it was called. Anyway, we're going to go to dinner in the MDR. This is one of those nights where we kind of struggle mm -hmm. to find things where we're like, yes, I'm excited to eat that, but the stuff is still it's good. It's all good. It's just not our favorite menu. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, we're going to go eat it, and yeah. You'll see it. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. American Icon Grill. Ooh, the line is not very long tonight, so we don't have long to stand here and look at this menu. All right, let's join the line. We got our cool little table back here by the balls again. Look at all them me's. Yeah, okay, we don't need to look at that. wander up here to the on-air club. I guess that's what you call it. They're doing a music trivia, but we're gonna see how jammed it is. Looks pretty quiet and festive. Festive. Hello, on-air club. We are good to go. We got a seat and a trivia sheet and some sports. We can watch sports commercials. We can watch sports sports. So this is what, 70s music trivia? Okay. Oh, duh. That makes sense. All right. When you're at these sports games, you really make sure you check and clean those fans. That's how you keep everybody safe. Mm -hmm. Ooh, looks like a prize might be the bag in a bag. All right. 
<laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, so now we're gonna set our name that tune 70s, okay? Your task is write down, is write down the name of the song and also artist, okay? Yeah, you think that you're easy just because you're on vacation, huh? Now we got 23 out of 30. The winning team had four members and got 27. Boom, boom. We're gonna head up to the park now. I think they're doing some music in the park. Oh, I hear piano. There we go, a little live music excitement out here in the park in the dark. That's cool. Ooh, there's another small wonder out here in the park. Can you even see in there with all of the, oh my. I don't know what that one was supposed to be, but it seems to have been a little rough over the years. Okay, we can kind of see down in there. It looks like some little figures of people down there, maybe. seen plaques by all of them but this one is called aqueduct oh. now we're just walking around looking at art oh it's called ice cold in new york yeah that accurate. um that looks accurate rock center cafe this is a large wonder this is not a small wonder <laughs> <laughs> anyway like we're heading down to the boardwalk yeah. welcome back to funland well, every time we come by the carousel, it seems to be closed. I think it's open five to nine lots of days. No, I don't see any hours, just carousel closed. Hello, little monkey. They've got fresh popcorn going because they're currently showing a movie at the Aqua Theater. Now, this should be the same popcorn. We believe we were told it was either $3 or $3.50, something in that neighborhood. Hmm. So on both side screens out here, they are showing Christmas Vacation, woo! They don't have a big screen in the middle, which would be awesome, but these side screens are pretty cool for movie viewing. <laughs> well, we'll just sit right here in this wind tunnel and watch us a, a thing. Woo. We chose this weird little hallway that leads over to like the uh, rock climbing wall or whatever, but anyway. It is, it's beautiful. We watched that whole movie out here. He I mean it was close to the whole movie. <laughs> oh, time to wander onward. Well I have a feeling another evening coffee is coming on. Yes. Hello again Cafe Promenade. Uh, yeah there's where you can normally pick up your paper copies of the uh, cruise compass but it's like nope get it on the app. They actually haven't even been delivering to the cabins like they have on our previous Royal Cruises this year. So first time we haven't gotten the paper copies. Coffee cam, coffee cam, coffee cam. Good night. <laughs> we are back in the cabin. Mm -hmm. um, there was a 70s Disco, Disco Inferno, Inferno party tonight, but we decided to just watch National We Netflix do a lot of dance parties. Christmas vacation. And we like them. There's like 4,000 people on the ship. Well, it's true. And a I lot know. of people go to them, which yeah. is fine, but I'd rather just sit and watch a Christmas movie tonight. That's that was true. what we wanted to do. You know what? <laughs> but I'm sure it's like, you know, sort of like Red, the nightclub experience yeah. that we've shown on a couple of other vlog series. It's, but you know, 70s, don't, don't, don't. Like 80s bump, music bump. Bump. That's fine. <laughs> so we're back in the cabin for now. We're going to say goodnight because mm -hmm. we are in St. Kitts tomorrow. Early, yeah. And we have an excursion through the ship. We're excited. So, yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, but thanks for hanging out with us. Any other words? My dinner was good. Dinner was good. Um, Go to Little Bay Beach. 
Oh yeah, a little bit beach. It was amazing. The snorkeling was really, really good. It was very affordable to get to, and the chairs and umbrellas were a great price. Oh. I loved everything about today. It was so good. Yeah, really. Yeah. Dinner was good. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was like, I forgot. We, like, I don't even People we like, didn't talk about our talk beach. About the dinner. Like, dinner was good. It's funny. If it's bad, we remember to talk about it usually. But if it's good, it just flies, and, and that shouldn't very be subjective. So well, we true. might like you might not. So you never know. That's true. You might think it was awful. <laughs> no, anyway, we're going to bed. Yeah. So we'll see y'all tomorrow. We'll see kids. Bye. Bye. Oh man, we turn on the TV and you can see the 70s Disco Inferno party right here on our TV. Watching us yeah, we're just Disco inferno -ing right here in our room. Look, we'd be right here in this little crack on the floor, right there. I'd be in the bigger crack. Oh, no, not up there. Indeed, be in the smaller crack, but that'd be us right there. Yeah. Look at all the fun we can be That's exciting. Right anyway, that's, <laughs> yeah, we're having fun with our coffee, so. <laughs> Bye, copyright music.